Hey, it's Joseph here. If you had seen any of my regular videos, you probably have noticed that I have a mouse and a keyboard. And I actually did a couple of videos where I focused on short keys and the navigation or control system of either VR or certain softwares like SketchUp. But these two have been my primary tool to get around inside of my computer. To me, they always have been quite essential. So I actually have an exact same set in my office. So I don't have any difference whatsoever between this configuration versus my office. And you probably have noticed that they're both Logitech products, so I only rely on a single dongle. Here's a little dongle that I use, and this pretty much connects both of the devices. I just keep it connected right here. And personally, I have been a big fan of Logitech, and to prove that, I have a couple of devices. Just give me a second. So this is what I keep in my backpack so I can just kind of haul it around a lot easier. And this is what I use whenever I am trying to access my computer from my living room. Actually, I did a build video for my living room PC. And this is a really cheap headphone that I use for editing purposes, but I just kind of keep it on the side. And there are a lot of items that I don't have access right now, but I have used in the past and I've gone through many of Logitech products. So I have proven that I like Logitech products, but why do I like them so much? They do have a really good product lineup and especially for this mouse, it's been loved by many different communities and people because the ergonomic aspect of this mouse. As an architectural designer, I can actually benefit a lot from a good middle wheel with a clickable button so that I can easily click. It is essential to my workflow. So over the days, I've actually developed some pain on my wrist due to prolonged period of usage of a mouse. And actually by jumping from a small non-ergonomic mouse to a more ergonomic mouse, it actually has cured. So I don't have wrist problem anymore thanks to the ergonomic designs of a sort of a bigger mouse. If I use a smaller mouse like like the MX Anywhere mouse for a really long period of time, I do get a little bit of pain on my wrist. So I do prefer this most of the time. And this specific keyboard is actually Logitech K750. I like this keyboard so much. I think this might have been my third keyboard. They usually have a very good customer service. So as long as you have it under your warranty, they will replace the keyboard no problem. However, because I jumped different countries and whatnot, I have had to buy many because I like this one so much. One here, one in the office, and the one I left in a different country, and that sort of thing. Why do I like it so much? As you might have noticed, there is a, actually a solar panel and these are enough to power these keyboards. So I just turn it on. I don't have to worry about battery life at all. They just work. And I really need a number pad since I do type in values quite a lot. I don't really favor any of the mechanical keys just because how clicky they are, they can kind of get a little annoying and I don't really mind the short travels of the keys. I prefer the wireless aspect of the keyboard, not having to recharge every so often Often, and also one dongle that's gonna connect both of the devices. And starting from MX Master 2S version, when they added the S version, they just kind of revised it and actually built in Logitech Flow function where you can actually move your cursor and the keyboard into a different machine without actually having to reconnect devices. So especially for someone who carries around a laptop and then trying to work with the desktop whenever I arrive at home, it makes it really easy. Easy. Unfortunately, this keyboard is not compatible with that feature. Therefore, whilst I can drag across my mouse over to another computer, you cannot really type anything else. So that's been sort of a problem that I had with this specific keyboard. And also I cannot connect this via Bluetooth whilst I can connect this mouse with a Bluetooth. And I can connect up to three different devices with this mouse, whereas this one purely relies on a dongle that I just showed you. So those have been the caps caveats of owning this specific keyboard, although it lasts pretty much forever. And whilst MX Master is sort of the top of the line flagship, so it's about 100 US dollars, the keyboard's been always much cheaper than that. So the whole set is somewhat less than $200 at most.
most and I just have one set here in the office that is completely identical. So for some time I have been looking to upgrade my set because I've seen Logitech release a new version of MX Master. MX Master 3 has been released and also they have now MX Keys which is the flagship model of their keyboard which is not solar powered but it still is really good battery life supposedly. So I was really stoked when Logitech decided to send me those two devices. So they are here. So they have sent me over these products for me to have honest review of them and I wanted to see how they fit into my existing workflow. I think they're going to be overall upgrade but it is to see. So first of all let's do with the keyboard first. So here is sort of unboxing I suppose. MX so it says and just so you can see it has some instruction. This is quite a typical stuff for Logitech to do any of the keyboard. So here is that dongle right here but I can probably use what I already have so I'm just gonna unify to that instead of using this one here. And other than that there's some manual I suppose. Oh there's a charging cable. Oh that's right you need to charge this one instead of having a solar power that lasts forever. Put this back in. Charging cable with USB-C so I'll probably need that later on. Let's unwrap this guy. So here it is and it's flash. Nice looking I must say. And I do really appreciate this sort of metal construction and the weight to it. It's a lot heavier than this one and I feel like the overall construction of this is a lot better than this one and you see how glossy this is and it often catches dust and fingerprint whilst this one I feel like I can keep it clean for a lot longer and I appreciate this sort of matte finish instead of the gloss. The keys are feeling a little bit heavier but I actually do prefer this. The keys are feeling a lot better. And to test how this overall feels I'm gonna have to connect it. So let's go ahead and do that. There's a little power button I'm seeing and it lights up this Sorry, I'm just keep showing you upside down. So it lights up green here when I turn it on. So like so, it turns green. And then there's a USB connection right here for you to charge up. I did notice that it has a little bit of incline due to these feet, but I don't really need that. And it does have these sort of illuminated keys. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but it is illuminated. So right now the lights are sort of breathing. And I suppose it's waiting for connection. So let me just go ahead. So back here I can just add device, add unifying device. And it says locate off on slider. So if I do that, done. So my devices, I have this keyboard. It's already showing up. That's great. All right, welcome to MX Keys. I am all set. Everything is good to go. Everything seems very similar in terms of the layout where there is a circular depression within the keys and they do feel a little bit rubbery. So they do have a little bit more friction. I kind of appreciate that touch and I really like the weight. It has almost no flex in it. Let me see if I can do the typing test. 30 seconds perhaps. And I'm gonna try with my old keyboard first. Fingers kind of stretched first. So here I come to embarrass myself on public on my typing skills. I'm not necessarily fast typer, but here it is in the name of science review comparison, whatever you call it. So that is recorded as 68 WPM or 68 AWPM. My adjusted speed is very fast, thank you, and better than 95% of scores. All right, time for my new keyboard. Let's see if I can do better. Round two. All right, it says 68 WPM and 100% accuracy. I struggled a little bit in the beginning, 
but no difference whatsoever. I don't know how long the battery is going to last, but I'm pretty sure it is going to last a lot longer. I'm going to just put it up on the screen how long it's going to last by its spec. I'm actually quite excited to write with this keyboard on my emails or long typing sessions. I do definitely recommend this. Good job, Logitech. Oh, actually, I need to use a palm rest as well. I suppose they sell it separately. Let me put up the price that I can find. By the way, the keyboard's listed price is this. Nice, it's a really thin one. I, I thought it was gonna be really thick and I was a little bit worried because I don't like having my hand up. All in all, oh, this is feeling really nice. So <laughs> memory foam material, I think I'm just gonna keep it right here. Moving on to the next item. So here's MX Master 3. Okay, just like the keyboard, it has this sort of MX box inside as well. So again, the dongle is here, but I am not going to use it since I already have a dongle. And here's the mouse. I suppose there's gonna be some sort of charging cable. Yes, there is, but it's gonna have same USB-C, so I'm gonna use the same cable as the keyboard. So that's gonna go into my cable drawer. And it has a little manual inside, but I'm not gonna read it. So the overall shape of the mouse is a little bit different. Let me see how it feels. It's got a little bit more weight. No, actually it isn't, but it feels a lot better in my hand. This is a little bit lower, whereas this one feels a little bit higher. The peak of it is slightly higher than MX Master S2. I really haven't been a big fan of um, the thumb wheel because they're always sort of out of my way. My grip wasn't as deep as other people. The wheel, the center wheel is really important aspect whenever I'm choosing a mouse. Instruction on the mouse, so I'm just gonna use that as a guide. I need to turn it on. Do I need to take it off? So I need to turn it on and connect to my one of my USB dongle. So I'm gonna add devices, add unifying device, locate off, on, so I'm gonna off and then on. So MX Master 3 has been successfully paired. I'm gonna come out of it. I'm just gonna change the gesture button to media controls so that it's play, pause, previous, next, volume, up and down. This is how usually I configure mine. So I'm gonna keep it that way. I don't really like the smart shift thing, so I'm gonna disable it. Pointer speed is a little bit slow, so I'm gonna increase that. All right, so let me just go ahead and open up one of my model to see how easily I can swim around inside of my model. The scroll wheel is actually feeling a lot different. You probably don't hear anything because it feels like some sort of magnet that is snapping as opposed to my scroll wheel that used to have this clacky sound. And I don't know if that is preferable. I actually kind of like the aspect of hearing your scroll because whenever I make these videos, you guys actually hear my scrolling. Therefore, you register I am trying to scroll. When I'm clicking, you hear certain sounds therefore you know I am clicking however this mouse is actually completely silent but the uh, middle mouse button is solid clicks so I can easily orbit and I can just look around if I need to you can spin it really fast without the the latchet mode versus no latchet the fact that I can roll it with some resistance so that's really different to what I'm used to but I can, I can certainly utilize that feature. And the middle mouse button has some weight to it. So the orbiting and then looking around is feeling a lot nicer. The click is very similar. There's not much to it. The keyboard is actually feeling really nice with the short keys and all. I can already feel where they are and I'm easy to hit the keys that I want to hit. If you compare it, the length is almost identical and the key size and the layout is pretty much the same as well. So all in all, I'm just gonna put these aside as I upgrade myself into a new set.
So thank you Logitech for upgrading my whole set. It's a pleasure and it's gonna make great addition to my workflow. They feel great, they're gonna function great, I know so. And if anyone's suffering from wrist pain, whenever you try to get up, you have a pain on your wrist, I highly recommend having some sort of ergonomic mouse. If you're the type of person who types a lot or use a lot of short keys as I do, keyboard placement and using similar type of keyboard everywhere that just works is quite important and I hope you have found my unboxing and the first look of these products useful if you have liked it please like and subscribe to my channel for the contents that are similar to this and thank you so much for watching my video as always I'll see you next time bye